morning, Colts. Colts. I'm your anchor, Lucila. And I'm your anchor, Ella. And this is KTV for December 4th, 2023. Ugh, I can't find anyone who has the same book interest as me. Well, lucky for you, the book club is starting in the library. Really? Yes, every Wednesday at lunch after winter break. I hope teachers will be there so I can ask them what their favorite book is for Kenilworth Reads. Me too, but don't forget to turn in any of your overdue books before the winter break so kids that want the book you have can get that book. I hope my books don't get rained on by then. Let's go see if that will happen in the weather studio. Good morning, Colts. I'm your weather anchor, Jackson, here to tell you about the weather. This week will have highs of mid-60s and lows of high 40s. Expect weather from here on out, because it's officially December, and because of the Earth's rotation, it's not going to get any warmer. Also, on Wednesday and Thursday, there will be a chance of rain coming in from up north in Oregon. Bring your umbrellas, Colts. Now back to the... Oh no! I almost forgot the weather joke. That would have been disastrous, because I have a fire one for you guys today. Why is the sun so smart? Wait for it. Because it has over 5,000 degrees. That was a knee slapper if I've ever seen one, Colts. Now back to the KTV studio. I can't wait to do the Pride Club improv at lunch. Come by on Tuesday at lunch with silliness and fun. Hearing about this stuff is making me hungry. What's for lunch today? The lunch today is pizza, tamales, spicy chicken sandwich, and your regular salads and sandwiches. Mmm, sounds really good. Did you know that more fun stuff is going on like the USA Math Competition? No, tell me more. The American Math Competition is a 25-question multiple choice exam that junior high students all across the country take in January. If you're interested in taking this test, Kenilworth will be giving it on Thursday, January 18th from 2.30 to 3.30. Oh, I get it now. I also know that it costs $4 to register and there are cash prizes given to the top three finishers of each grade. Test space is limited, so if you are interested in taking the test, you can sign up with your math teacher starting December 8th. Sign-ups will remain open until all the spots are filled. On the topic of competition, let's go to the sports corner. Good morning, Colts. I'm your sports anchor, Alex, and I'm here to tell you about the sports. Today, there will be a boys' basketball game at Rincon Valley. Also today, we are playing Rincon Valley here for a volleyball game. Both of these games are at 4 p.m. Let's go, Colts. Now it's time for the awesome sports joke. What has 18 legs and catches flies? A baseball team. That was a knee slapper, Colts. Now back to the KTV studio. What? I just heard we got new PSA videos. Cool. Let's check them out. The ability to control yourself, in particular your emotions and desires, your thoughts or feelings of your behavior, especially in difficult situations, you have self-control. Having the ability to have self-control can give you better health. You become more resilient and dedicated as you keep distractions from derailing your progress. You have self-control by listening to the teacher and focusing on the assignment. Hey Colts, this month is Read a New Book Month. You can check out a book in the library or you could get a book from home or a bookstore or the public library or from a friend. Try reading a type of book you don't normally read. If you usually choose fiction, try a biography. If you love travel books, read fantasy or some science fiction. Challenge yourself by reading a book on a topic you may not know much about. If you don't cook, try a cookbook. If you don't know much about technology, try a technology book. Or maybe read a book about a new sport or something on social media or how to garden. You can read books in the library if you like them or you, or you can take them home. Remember to be respectful in the library and to be quiet because other people are reading too. Read a new book this month. Science halls between Miss Callahan and Mr. O are now closed. But if you need to speak with them on either one, but if you need to speak with either one of them, you can use the hallway. Whew, I got worried there. Did you know that Miss Rennie and Miss Martin is our cheer team? They have been spreading a lot of joy and cheer lately. Let's check out their cheer video. They're here. Come on, let's go. Look at these wonderful little elves. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at the spread. There is the spread down here. Hot, hot water, hot coffee. Look, there's even little candy canes. Oh my goodness. You guys are wonderful. You're welcome. 
Thank Enjoy. you. Thank you, guys. Happy holidays. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really excited for the winter concert coming up. Same. I can't wait to go to the winter concert performed by the Kenilworth Band. Me too, but I forgot the time and date. Oh, well, it's performed on December 7th at 7 p.m. at Kenilworth. Um, let's give a round of applause to the November, November participants. You looked terrible. I mean, terribly awesome. Over 250 people voted for the scariest, gnarliest, fiercest beard in the West. I mean, at Kenilworth. The theme for this year was Outlaws. And for from Radeke to Raya, the contestants proved that they really could look the part. This year's winner was Mr. Talent, but those who know him well enough call him Johnny Talented. Others just refer to him as the man of many talents. He has worked in saloons across the Wild West taking care of guests on a good day, but using heavy handkeeping order on the bad ones. His dangerous methods have made it so he can't stay in one town for too long. If you ever cross him, you better have a fast draw because this man is certainly armed and very talented. Whew, it sure is chilly outside. Let's wrap things up and get a blanket. And, and that's, that's KTV. KTV.